In today's video, we'll be working on a no heat call. You can see here I have my thermostat set to heat and auto. Right now, this is the ambient temperature inside the unit. And here, we're just putting it up. We have it set to 78. You can see here that my thermostat is blinking and that indicates to me that it is trying to call for heat. What I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna set it to the off position and now I'm gonna see if I can turn my fan on. I've been waiting for a couple of minutes. My fan hasn't turned on. So most likely I'm gonna have a problem with the furnace board. I wanna check here, see if I have voltage. So I have my system off, put it to auto. And now I'm gonna pull my thermostat off and I wanna just check my voltage readings here behind the thermostat. So here I'm just checking my voltage going to my condensing unit. I should have a reading of 24 volts, so we're good here. I'll move my multimeter over to test my heat. That's going to be my R terminal and my W. And I do have voltage there. Now I'm going to check my blower motor. It's R to G. And I do have the proper voltage. Here I'm putting my thermostat back on. I'm going to put it back to heat. Auto. Once you hear that click, that indicates to me that my thermostat is calling for heat. Okay, so here we see our code and our board is just rapidly flashing. Now, if you look here, you have some codes here that you can look up. Continuous off, continuous on, rapid flashing. So this tells me that my line voltage polarity is reversed. What that means is my incoming power to my furnace board is reversed, indicating that my neutral is hot and my hot is neutral. Two screws on the board, and we're just gonna basically remove them. And once you remove those two screws, you should be able to slide out both of these panels. Once you remove the two panels, this is your safety switch right here. This, when engaged, turns your system on to your board. Then once I remove my finger or I remove the front panel, that will kill any power to my board. Okay, so here I'll engage it for you so you can see it. Let it go. This is gonna be my power supply right here. So I'm basically just going to remove this front panel by removing this screw. Again, please be very careful when you're working on the electrical. Uh, what I would suggest is turning off the breaker or unplugging it. We're going to unplug our power supply to our furnace. And once I press it, you should see I have no power. Right here, I can obviously see that somebody was working on this because this was installed backwards. So when I look here, these are one of the newer furnace boards. So for some reason, at some point, this board was replaced. These are all things you just wanna take a mental note of. At this point, I know that somebody was here working on the system and apparently they were unable to solve the issue. So right now, as I said, that's not always something that you would use, but it just does indicate to me at some point there was a problem with this furnace. And right now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull our wires. Then I'll take my multimeter and I'll test it to see the voltage coming. So right now I have my multimeter, my leads going in, one into my ground, one into my hot. And here I have my multimeter set to AC volt. I'm going to plug in my furnace. Here I'm just going to engage my switch to see if I have any voltage coming in. So you can see that my board does have power, but my hot is not giving me a voltage reading. Again, I've taken my leads. I have one in my ground and one going into my neutral. And you can see here that I am getting a voltage reading of 123 volts. Right now my board is not activated. If I push it in,
So I'm still getting my code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to unplug my furnace and then reverse my lines coming in. You always want to be cautioned when you're working on electrical. Even though I unplugged it, I'm using my voltage detector just to ensure that I do not have voltage. So here I removed my wire nuts. I'm going to disconnect these two, disconnect these two, and just basically swap. Here I wire nutted my wires, and now I'm going to redo my testing. I have my multimeter set, my ground, and my hot coming in. I'll plug in my furnace, and you can see here that I am getting 120 volts. Now I'm going to test my neutral coming in. Here, I do not have voltage. Now we're going to engage our switch for our furnace board, see if we cleared the code. Obviously, I'm still having the same fault code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this outlet. just want to make sure that my incoming power to my outlet is wired correctly. Unplug our furnace. Move our plate cover. All right, so what I did was I just pulled the outlet. There is power to it, so just be careful. If you're not comfortable working on it, you'll have to go and turn the circuit breaker off and turn it back on. But I do have power to it right now, so I'm just going to test right now my ground to my hot and then my neutral to my ground to see which of these lines incoming are giving me voltage. You want to look in the back of the outlet just to make sure it's wired properly. As you can see there, my white is connected to the proper side of my outlet. I don't know if you can see that, this is white right there. And then here is my hot. So right now, I have one lead on my hot, one on my ground, and I do have 120 volts. Now I'm just going to check my neutral coming in, and I do not have voltage. So right now my outlet is wired correctly. Next I just want to check my wires coming from my transformer. This is my neutral, and it is tied into the neutral on the board. And my incoming power is right here, and that's connected to the right terminal on my board. Remove these two screws. We are going to have to remove this front panel to remove the ductwork so that we can get access to the board in troubleshooting our components. Remove the screws around the elbow and remove the elbow. Once you remove your screws, slide the ductwork out to the side. Remove this screw in the back to remove this back panel. We are going to have to do some troubleshooting. Take some electrical tape and cover your safety switch. Plug in your furnace board. We are going to have to test our transformer and our board for voltage. Here's my hot and my neutral coming from my transformer. Now the board feeds the actual voltage to my transformer. This is my PR1 terminal. I'm going to pull it to kill the power to the board. I'm going to plug it back in, hopefully to reset the board. You can see I still have the same code. We're going to do the same for our neutral. Now we're going to remove our neutral and our hot. And now we're going to test our board for voltage. Here are both my leads. I have my multimeter set to voltage. One lead is on my ground. And I'm going to take my other lead and I'm going to put it here on the board on terminal PR1. And I should have 120 volts. We'll do the same with our neutral. One lead for my multimeter on my ground, I do not have voltage coming in.
Now I'm going to tie in my neutral from my transformer. You can see my safety switch is engaged. My furnace board is plugged in. I'm going to tie it into the board on PR1 and this should give me power back to my board. You can see that I still do have the fault code. Unplug your power supply. Remove the electrical tape from your switch. This is our schematic. We're going to be testing L1, which will be our hot. L2 will be our neutral. This is our board. This is terminal L1. And here on our neutrals is L2. Remove L1 and L2 from the board. Connect your multimeter to your hot and your neutral that you disconnected. Now we're going to plug in our furnace board. And we're not going to have any voltage until we engage our switch. So put your electrical tape back on your switch. And this should give you 120 volts on your multimeter. Unplug your power supply to your furnace board. I have one lead on my ground, one lead on my hot. Once I plug in my furnace board, I should have 120 volts. Make sure your safety switch is still engaged. Unplug your power. Now we're going to do the same test with our neutral. Plug in your power supply. I should not have any reading coming from my neutral. Unplug your power supply. The problem may be the faulty board. This is my replacement board that we're going to install. Unplug your power and remove the tape. Because of limited time, I'm not going to show you how to replace your board. I do have a link posted in the description if you do need assistance in replacing your board. When installing your new board, make sure your indicator light is in the front. Now we're going to reassemble all of our components that we removed. Place your electrical tape over your safety switch. Plug in your power supply. The blower motor did turn on. Again, I did have my thermostat set to auto and heat. You can see my error code is no longer present on my board. The blower motor will run for a couple of minutes. Then my inducer motor will turn on. My gas valve will be next. My igniter and then I should have a flame. My inducer motor just kicked in. Next you'll hear a slight click. My igniter is glowing and now my flame should turn on. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.